Through the ages, certain dog breeds have been considered dangerous. Most recently, pit bulls have been in the headlines. Headlines stating how one of them attacked a baby, another person, or even another pet. Headlines that also paint them as fighting dogs. But maybe they are not to blame. They might just be misunderstood. Jennifer, a rescuer for WAG's Hope and Healing, has this to say. I think they're bad dogs. I don't think any dogs are bad dogs. I think you have to judge every dog based on its individuality and how it acts and um, give it every chance you can to make good choices. Pitbulls have a long history. Starting in the 1800s in the UK, people would use them for entertainment purposes. Using dogs against rats and bulls to see which dog could kill more. Breeders would breed their pitties with certain genetics and without the instinct to attack their owners. Since the owners used them for gruesome entertainment, they had to make sure they would not get bit. Things changed when immigrants moved to the U.S. during the Civil War, bringing their dogs with them and continue breeding them. This time, they were used as nanny dogs, herding dogs, for protection and companions. Their intelligence and loyalty made them the perfect all-American dog. Susie, who does marketing for the shelter Wags Hope and Healing, who help all sorts of dogs, shares her loving rescue story. His name's Max, and he is some sort of, we think he's some sort of pit mix. Um, but he's sweet as can be. Um, when we were looking for a dog, we needed to have a dog that was <clears throat> friendly and could live with cats and despite Max's giant size he's about 90 pounds um, he gets along great with the cats because he's just sweet and he loves everybody and everything um, and when he Jen had told me the story of Max and kind of how she got him at the rescue um, she pulled him from a kill shelter and he as a puppy he had had parvo and he was missing most of his hair because he had a really bad case of Demodex mange. So um, the pictures of him were pretty pathetic. <laughs> but despite all that, I mean, he's just one of the sweetest dogs and he gets along great with other dogs. So, However, in the 1980s, dog fighting became prominent again. Many accidents dealing with pit bulls were reported in the news. Since then, the media has been portraying pit bulls as mean dogs. On a good note, there are so many organizations and shelters that are helping these gentle beasts, such as Sophie Gammond, who photographs these doggies with flowers in order to raise money. Organizations like Wax Hopes and Healing and Austin Pets Alive are rescuing, taking in, and rehabilitating all sorts of pit bulls until they are good to go to a good home. Executive assistant and organizer for Austin Pets Alive tells us what she thinks. I... Uh, looking at pit bulls like they have any traits within them that are negative or positive like compared to any other dog breed is like comparing people based on skin color. Um, it's really arbitrary to do that um, and largely I believe that, that each dog is an individual um, whose behavior can be based on a number of things. If you consider the just the philosophical idea of nature versus nurture, the way they're treated, the environment they grow up in. Um, and so every dog has the opportunity to be uh, a, a good dog. Even though pit bulls may look like angry little beasts, one thing is certain, you cannot judge a book by its cover. Every dog is different, just like a person is unique. In Austin, I'm Alessandra Paul. Thank you for watching and make sure to like this video and share with your other Pitbull friends.